everyone, it's Amanda here with your August 2019 RuneScope, and it's also the sixth year anniversary of my RuneScopes channel here on YouTube. I posted my first video way back in uh, August of 2013, so I just wanted to take a moment to thank all of you uh, for supporting the channel, all of my uh, subscribers, um, those of you who stop by every month and watch the videos. Um, my clients, especially my regulars, many of you have been with me uh, since the start. So I just wanted to take a moment to uh, acknowledge that and say thank you so much. This channel's grown totally org organically just from YouTube and uh, from anybody out there who, who shares my videos because I, I, I have a full-time job too, so I don't have time to do like a Twitter or a Facebook. So it's solely just this channel and the email address. So um, I wanna thank you all for uh, sharing my videos, liking, uh, letting people know, recommending people to come get a reading from me, your friends and family. So I greatly appreciate it and just wanted to uh, acknowledge that and say a thank you uh, to all of you. This month, along with our runes, we will be using the Cosmic Tarot. And this is by Norbert Loesch. And then, as always, you can join me for part two of your August reading over on Vimeo. This month, we're going to be pulling and interpreting one card from the Astrological Oracle by uh, Antonelle Castelli and Lunea Weatherstone. It's a beautiful deck. And this deck also really uh, will touch on like time, timing for things a lot more than some others because of the astrology, you know, the moon and phases and things like that. So uh, definitely check that out. The link is below in the box. Uh, don't forget your mid-year check-in room scope is over on my Vimeo channel as well. Uh, that's covering the rest of the year. If you didn't get a chance to uh, check those out last month, be sure to do so this time. But uh, I think I've covered all of the housekeeping stuff. But let's move on without further ado and see what August holds in store. Hey Cancer, let's get the runes cast and see what August has in store for Cancer. August. Straighten that out. August 2019 for Cancer. What's going on? Okay. Cancer. As always, keep in mind, Cancer, these are general readings. So uh, some of these messages are gonna be for other Cancers watching, uh, not just you. Uh, you can check out the video for your rising sign as well to get additional messages and information. Um, you'll probably find that those are, <coughs> sorry, those are more accurate usually. But if you would like a reading that's all about you, the people in your life, <coughs> excuse me, your specific circumstances, drop me a line at my email address, it's here in the video and below, and we can do a private Skype session all about you. But in general, what's going on with cancer in August? So I'm gonna have to take a drink. Well, in the present, we have the tower card, but it's in reverse. That's good. Here's what it looks like in the upright. So the present's gonna be end of July going into early August or so. For others of you, this may be what's going on when you're watching this video. So the tower in reverse is like averting a disaster or, 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 or taking like some surprising cataclysmic event that you're just kind of thrust into and turning it into um, like a, a alleviating the effects of that. Um, for many of you, this could have something to do with family or the group or the tribe. So we have the rune of um, manas in reverse. So yeah, people interfering in your business, gossip, a lot of gossip energy with this. So this could be happening online, it could be happening at work, it could be happening within the family. And it seems to have something to do with someone leaving one situation for another or making a big shift or change in their life. Um, and now uh, people around, like so maybe, Maybe it's you, Cancer. Maybe you are leaving the company. You've taken a new job. Um, maybe you were fired or let go. 
and now there's gossip online about it. Um, maybe you are divorcing, leaving someone for um, someone else. For others of you, maybe this is like, you know, some being done to you. Maybe someone has left you for someone else and now there's all kinds of family gossip and stuff. But I think for most of you, this is because again, it's averting a disaster. So, um, so you're leaving a situation that was, um, maybe there was like a big argument or a big like ending to it. Maybe this happened in July or earlier this year. Um, something that wasn't stable or well built or built on a solid foundation just fell and you've taken that and have picked up the pieces and are moving on this could also be you quashing some gossip here in the present though you so you could be like finding out about this gossip finding out what people are saying and then quashing it like you're you're totally or maybe you like go online and you're like okay here's what's really going on and you set the record straight in some way because this does have to do with communication it has to do with what people are saying um people who have no right many many of whom interfering in your business or about what's going on or saying anything about it uh because number one they don't know and number two it's your business um so yeah you may just be like where do you get off talking about you know um, what's going on with me? You don't know anything about it. Yeah, it's like you're not qualified to speak on this is what I'm hearing with this. So, um, some of you may just be walking away from this kind of thing. It's like some of you are setting the record straight. Others of you are just like, I'm just going to totally leave this alone. You may be unfriending, blocking people. Um, or it's because, you know, I'm leaving this job or I'm leaving this person. So I wanted to deal with this because it's their family. We're getting a divorce. So I'll no longer have to deal with their family. So it could just be that you are like, I'm just going to leave it alone, but I'm getting out of this situation and I, I don't really care enough to engage. So, um, and that's how you're going to like, just avert the disaster. You're just going to kind of leave it behind. We'll let them deal with it. Um, So you're walking away from something, leaving, moving, uh, shifting out of, and it's kind of like, well, just by leaving all the negativity behind. Um, and especially with people who are interfering in your business, uh, giving you biased advice or, you know, trying to talk to you about personal things that they have no business talking about or talking about things they have no knowledge about and just making it up. You know, um, this is gonna backfire on them in a big way. Now, the challenge in the month of August, got the Four of Swords in reverse. So here's what it looks like in the upright. Many of you, I think the harder you try to retreat or, 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 uh, because it is kind of like this was a disappointing situation and I'm sorry it didn't work out and it, for some of you it may be painful and but you're just like I just want to go I just want to leave I just want to move on from this and um but your challenge may be to retreat and either like not fire back at these people saying things right Cause sometimes that is a challenge like I so have just the perfect tweet for that or I so have just the perfect text for that but um it's like that's what they want you to do. There is one person in particular, maybe a female energy, who's trying to manipulate you into engaging or saying something. Um, for some of you, if you are divorcing, this could have legal ramifications. Um, <laughs> you know, I, it just depends. Um, but yeah, it, I think your challenge will be to not set the record straight. And for some of you, you, I don't think you should try to hold back because it was coming up that some of you do need to do that. But um, for some of you, the challenge could be to speak up and set the record straight. So it's it's working out depending on which cancer you are. For some of you, that would that will be more difficult, like speaking up and like setting the record straight. Others of you, it it, it it's going to be like it's not even worth. I, again, I'm just leaving this behind. So, but, but the, the not saying something could be difficult for some of you. Um, 
And you know, you may th have thought that some of these people were your friends or on your side or, or that they had your back in some way. So I think it's disappointing to you to kind of see like the true colors of some people coming out, maybe particularly women um, that you thought understood or maybe you told them personal things. If this is a, again, like a relationship situation, maybe it's like it was your sister-in-law or soon to be ex sister-in-law or something and you shared a lot of personal details with her and now it's like being used against you or twisted in some way. So a bit of a dramatic, like a lot of just drama, but it's that kind of like, it's like the big stuff has happened and this is just the, the after effects, like that drop, that irritating drama, right? That it's like, ugh, if I can just get through this, I'll be done with all of this. The help that's gonna be available is the fool. So excellent card, you've got a new beginning in some area and really striking out on a new journey. And I think you're really exciting at, excited about it. You've got Cadis here. So I feel like many of you have a new friend, you, have, you may even have a new partner, but there is like this sense of adventure. And many of you may be traveling, if you can, maybe get away and take a vacation in August, um, even if it's just a small trip. Um, yeah, if there's something you've always wanted to do or a place you've always wanted to see, August could be the month to do it and that will kind of get you removed from this. Awas is saying that some of you are um, maybe moving. You do have two moving rooms plus the fool. So you're either traveling or moving in August and that's gonna kind of get you away from this toxic situation and that's fantastic. It'll give you some, maybe some physical distance but also some emotional distance and just other things to focus on. I, I, I feel like it's a healing month for many of you in August. Um, but so yeah, there's a new adventure in a new location, either just traveling there for pleasure or moving. Um, and meeting new people. I feel like you're very open in August and it's gonna help you in, in uh, August, Cancer, to uh, you know take, take a risk. Do something you've never done before. Get out there in some way or, or get out there and try something new. Um, join a group or a club because um, there's a new beginning coming up here of new people, no, new sur social circles coming in who maybe are more adventurous. Um, this could have something to do with physical activity too because I am seeing like rock climbing um, and travel groups like people who travel to, you know, maybe um, every year they take a couple of trips different places and you, you may be taking one in August or joining a group and, and planning that. Um, seen hiking, a lot of outdoorsy type stuff. Um, so, and cancers you're kind of known to be homebodies where you like to stick around, not that you all stay inside all the time, but you do like to stick around your <laughs> your home and your land and your yard, whatever. Uh, yeah, this, this is gonna help you in August to kind of break out of that. And um, that's the way to kind of counteract this energy is to kind of get out and try something new. Um, it may seem a little, you know, uh, daunting at first or a little uncomfortable, but it's one of those things where um, if it makes you nervous, that's probably what you should be doing. So yeah, get out of your comfort zone. That's gonna help you not only meet new people, but just, um, it's like you kind of get this new lease on life and are feeling really, really positive about the future if you um, get out of your comfort zone and try something new or go somewhere new. Um, others of you may be adopting an animal maybe bringing a new furry friend, a dog or a cat or um, whatever animal you're partial to, you may be bringing a, a new little furry friend into your life in August and that's gonna take your focus. And this is gonna be a very, of course, loyal, loving uh, relationship between you and this animal. Um, they're gonna be a really good friend. I feel a dog for most of you because she does have her little dog here. Uh, on the uh, on the card there so yeah so maybe you'll be like going to the dog park walking the dog taking the dog to to doggy school that may be where you're meeting some people um or creating a new social circle what must be accepted we got the queen of cups in reverse and i feel like this is you many of you cancers um yeah just kind of feeling down and and Feeling like you can't ex express yourself, kind of going back to this. There's a there's a block emotionally. I think you're blocking yourself intentionally, emotionally, some of you, so you can do 
can so you can retreat and not kind of fire back at naysayers or fire back at this gossip or things that are being said. Um, I kind of feel like you're like, I got, and somebody else got this. Was it Scorpio? You got to put a stopper on your feelings. Like I got all this bubbling up, but I got to put the stopper in the bottle because I'm just, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm, if I can just wait a little bit longer, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going on this trip or I'm, I'm moving. Um, I'm going to a new job. If this is all happening at work, it seems a little more personal than that for most of you, but yeah, I just got to stick it out for a little bit longer and then I'm out of here. Um, but yeah, it could be taking a toll on you, uh, holding back your cancer and really kind of, because you're not allowed to express these feelings or you feel like you can't bottling them up is, is, it's, it's all inward. Right. And, and there may be a lot of, um, you may be battling some depression or you're just feeling down, um, maybe more emotional than usual, um, in the month of August. But it's temporary because again, you're looking forward to something. You're getting ready to make a big shift or change. Perhaps for some of you, it is kind of maybe this bottling up or this pulling your energy back that it makes you be like, okay, what can I do to, to get out of this rut or to break this depression or, or put an end to this, put a stop to this. And you could be, um, that could be when you're like, okay, well, I'm gonna get a dog or I'm gonna go on a trip or I'm gonna join this rock climbing group. <laughs> I'm going to go hiking with my friends. There's something about these feelings that are going to motivate you to try something new. And um, you're going to be so happy you did. I kind of feel like that's the main force or the main thrust of August is to get you out of your comfort zone, get you out there meeting new people and, and finding a new uh, companion animal or, or finding a new group or activity you enjoy because it's going to be very prominent. Um, from now on. It's something you're supposed to be doing. Uh, others of you, this could be, uh, this could be someone else, could be a water sign, another Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This could be one of these gossipers. This could be, and it could be, unfortunately, somebody that you thought was your friend or, or somebody who had your back and now they are um, part of this group gossiping or talking about you sharing private things that maybe you had shared with them um, and kind of, you, you know, using it against you. Um, but again, you're just like, well, I'm just going to leave this behind. I'm moving on from this and I'm not going to reconnect with this person or these people because they're toxic. Now, the outcome we have is the King of Cups. Again, your energy for some of you, you're, it's like you're coming out of the negativity or the depression and you're coming into your own emotional strength and, um, I feel like the outcome of August is you kind of just taking everything that's happened or whatever this situation is and understanding how you've grown from it, especially emotionally and especially I, I'm, I'm hearing like, you know, there's a new realization about trust and unfortunately it could be kind of compounding trust issues that are already there. But yeah, there is kind of like this, I'm just not going to trust anybody ever again kind of thing. Or I think for most of you though, you're just coming through this and saying, um, I've landed on my feet. I mean, yes, this could have dragged me down and it almost did, or I was tempted to kind of just kind of, you know, barricade myself in my house and wither away, but I got out here. I'm meeting new people. Um, I'm enjoying myself and to hell with them. I, I really kind of feel like, you know, they either don't know the true me or they're listening to lies about me and not and not only listening but perpetuating them but they're not true and I know they're not true and the people who really know me and care about me know they're not true so I'm not gonna let that get to me anymore um, because yes the king of cups is water energy so uh, cancer Pisces or Scorpio if this is another person then it could be somebody you're meeting because of this travel. You could be meeting this person while you're traveling on this trip or, um, in this group. Um, if you are looking for a new friend or someone to talk to, you could be meeting another water sign, another cancer. Um, and this could be somebody who's very, uh, beneficial. They're very emotionally available. They are very open to emotional connections and they understand emotional connections, which a lot of people don't. Um, 
But yeah, this could be a very emotionally mature person, somebody who is ready for something serious, is looking for something serious, or who can just connect with you on a level that you're needing right now, Cancer. Um, but yeah, if you are traveling in the month of August, you could be meeting someone um, that at least will be a, a good companion on the trip, right? Um, so this could be somebody who's like one of your tour guides or somebody that you meet at the hotel bar or um, again, in this like rock climbing group or hiking while you're out hiking. Um, very interesting energy here because I feel like for most of you though, this is just you kind of like being happy to put a chapter behind you, taking the growth and what you've learned from it and realizing realizing what that's been, right? The, the Like, why did I go through this? What was the point of this? And kind of seeing it actually, kind of figuring it out. And um, by the end of August, just feeling like you have, um, like you understand yourself in a new way or you could be meeting somebody who is helping you understand yourself in a new way. But meet me over on Vimeo, uh, Cancer. I'm going to shuffle the Astrological Oracle. Want to see what further wisdom and guidance they can give us for the month um, about how to handle these energies and maybe more information about timing or astrological signs of maybe this person. And maybe we can find out who's who here. So meet me over there. That link again is below. I'll see you then. I'll see you over there and I'll see you back here next month for September's RuneScope. Thanks for watching.